Every morning I wake up, I wake up to hundreds of comments, both on my Sticks channel and on my MMO Byte channel. Typically, I, I sit there, I reply to a few of them, and then I go about posting a video. But very rarely has this happened to me. This has actually happened to me two times. Okay, no, this has happened to me three times in total on this channel over the course of just the last few months. All three times, they have been from Chinese studios. And I want to take a moment here just to talk about that. So yesterday I posted a video. Well, actually the video isn't even visible here. Two days ago, I did a video and I posted a video titled, Oh God, I wasn't ready for this. In that video, I posted my reaction to Honor of Kings World's most recent trailer. This is trailer footage that was actually uploaded directly to the Honor of Kings YouTube channel. This is trailer footage that has been I, I gotta stop this here because if I'm not careful, they're going to copyright claim this video as well. This is footage that has been re-uploaded across YouTube. I'm not the only person that's reacted to this. I'm not the only person that's covered this. However, shortly after posting this video, I got hit with a copyright claim. This is not a copyright strike. My channel was not affected by this, but I woke up and I, I happened to see this. Copyright owner claimed some content in your video. The content that was claimed was the entire trailer. The trailer of which has been reacted to by dozens, if not hundreds of other people. There are reactions to this. There is content pertaining specifically to this across YouTube. Yet for whatever reason, they decided to manually take down this video. I do want to note this was a manual takedown. The reason I know this is a manual takedown is because it didn't happen until roughly eight to nine hours after I'd posted the video. If your video has copyrighted content in it, then it will be automatically filtered using YouTube's in-house content ID system. This is an automated system that filters music videos, music, movies, video game cutscenes, anything that might be deemed as copyrighted content. This, however, was not filtered. This did not trigger any alarms, and I was able to successfully upload the video. Managed to get almost 6,000 views over the course of a several hour period, and then after being live for a number of hours, they decided to take it down, which means that the studio that is producing this game and this claim was submitted directly by Tencent, manually looked at this video and they said, you know what? I don't like this guy. I don't like that he's reacting to this video. We're gonna copyright claim it. And this copyright claim didn't just affect the monetization of the video. Here you'll see a few different videos that were copyright claimed, but are still completely and entirely visible. Tower of God, Great Journey, that is a Gotcha. That was actually the other one of two other gotcha games that I did recently that they copyright struck me for. And I will note specifically pertaining to this one, I was sponsored to do that video and they still copyright claimed it. Nevertheless, you can see that these videos are still publicly accessible and available. This one is not. This one was blocked worldwide, which means it was removed entirely from my channel and is not accessible to anyone. They wanted to completely remove it from the internet. That completely baffles me. I have absolutely no idea why that is. I wasn't contacted by Tencent. They didn't state that the trailer that I was reacting to wasn't public, wasn't content that they wanted redistributed across other channels. Maybe they wanted to and this is just speculation here. Maybe they want to focus as many of the views as they possibly can into their own video and are therefore going to be targeting other channels. Maybe they're targeting other creators as well. They're just going after whoever was reacting to it first or whoever appeared at the top of the search engine or whoever were the most recent creators to actually produce a video on it. Regardless, it was a, a trailer for a gotcha possibly MMO that I had and I just want to note here while IGN uploaded a trailer while Enfent Terrible 
uploaded a trailer. While there are numerous shorts there, Steparo's video, I have reacted to every single video they have released with no issue on my MMO Byte channel, but the one single time I do it on my Sticks channel, it gets removed. Now, I don't want to point out here, and this is a little tinfoil hatty, but I have on numerous occasions expressed my distaste in Tencent as a studio and admittedly talked a lot of shit about them. So maybe they just don't like me and maybe they're lashing out. I don't know if so, it's a little petty, but I doubt that's the case. It just seems a little unusual that they decided to single me out. And you know what? They own rights to this trailer. So I'm not gonna claim that I have the right to redistribute the trailer. All I'm saying is I seem to be the only person affected by this copyright claim. And again, on numerous occasions, two other occasions, with regards to reacting to or doing videos on Chinese games, I have been claimed, I have been struck. When reacting to Chinese gacha games that are upcoming, I also get copyright claimed. China, for whatever reason, seems determined to not let me or maybe Western players, maybe Western content creators share the trailers that they are releasing onto the internet for whatever reason. I don't understand why. It really doesn't make sense to me. How I see it is this. You release a trailer, you are releasing that trailer because you want exposure for your game. What you're doing by removing these videos from the internet is limiting your game's exposure. So you're inhibiting your game, you're hurting your game, which leads to less traffic, less players, less views. That is a net negative, but you know what? It doesn't matter because they own the rights to it. They can remove whatever trailers they want. I disagree with this, given that is an eight and a half minute video. And I talked about the game, what I was seeing quite a bit during the trailer. Apparently that wasn't transformative enough for them. I I can't do anything about this. I'm not gonna do anything about this. I won't cover Honor of Kings World on the channel again because fuck Tencent. I'm saying that right now, they're gonna look at this video and be like, yeah, you know what? We're gonna call, we're gonna copyright claim another video he does on a game that we publish at some point in the future. You just wait, sticks. <laughs> also, I, I, I do wanna point out, YouTube is now rolling out that feature where you no longer have control over the ads on your channel. As you can see at the top here, during upload, turning ads on now means pre-roll, post-roll, skippable or non-skippable ads may appear before or after your long form video. So if I post a video, it might have non-skippable ads now. I've never had non-skippable ads displayed on any video I have ever done on this channel. It is always disabled. As you can see here, legacy ad settings, non-skippable video ads are unticked, but that is no longer within my control and all videos in the future across this channel and few, like every other channel are going to have, potentially have non-skippable ads. So. I just wanted to let you guys know that in case you're like, wow, Styx is really, really putting non-skippable ads ahead of his videos. It's very shallow of it. That, that's very non-user friendly of him and he must really need the money or something. No, it's I have no control over that. I'm sorry. Now, again, I will not be covering this game again, but if this game is of no interest to you, then I have two different videos on screen right now that hopefully might be.